big starting point from which everything else followed was moving from head level communication to heart level understanding. And we had to let go of the rational and move from focusing on facts to recognizing feelings. In one area of the brain, facts, rational language and communication were becoming increasingly damaged. But in a different part of the brain, feelings remain intact if we could only access them. So our communication with Theo shifted more and more dramatically over time from head level to heart level. And some of our happiest moments were all about feelings and nothing much else, with shared laughter, even sometimes when we didn't know precisely what the joke was. We drew, drew inspiration from Maya Angelou's great quote, People forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. We found the book Contented Dementia really helpful in learning to move from facts to feelings, including three invaluable rules. The first rule, don't ask questions. Questions focus on information so they can create anxiety about whether or not the person knows the right answer. So instead of saying, what did you do this morning? We found it might be more helpful to come in with a more general comment, perhaps I wonder if it's been a busy morning. And the second rule, don't contradict. It just undermines someone's confidence if you keep telling them they're wrong and it'll only cause additional stress to everyone. And the third rule is learn from the expert, the person with dementia. Just watch someone's eyes and you can pick up whether things are connecting. So when Theo said to me, in fact on the doorstep just as we, I was leaving, he said, we've known each other for a long time, are you older than me? And a uh, strange question, I could have corrected and contradicted him, responding at a head level, saying, of course I'm not older than you, you're my dad. Or I could have asked another question back, I'm 56, how old are you? But instead, I wanted to just affirm the feeling of connection, that the heart level response, and so I said, we're great friends. I've known you all my life, so I wanted to affirm the connection. Similarly, when Theo asked my brother Andrew, are your parents still alive? Andrew's heart level reply was, oh yes, they're very much alive. These, these conversations don't really focus on the facts or the information. They're heart to heart, not head to head. They help recognise and reassure, prompting really positive affirmation rather than more anxiety.